Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week of what's for dinner. If you're new here, I'm Taylor and I'm a stay-at-home mom and I share these dinner videos every week to hopefully give you guys some dinner inspiration. If you like these kinds of videos, I'd love it if you subscribe down below. Also, if you're new, I wanted to let you know any recipes I use are always linked in the description box. Now let's get into this week's dinners. It is Friday and tonight for dinner we are trying a recipe for easy Brunswick stew. I have not made this recipe before. I've actually never made a Brunswick stew before, but my stepdad always makes one, and I know this isn't going to be as good as his, because he, like, makes his own barbecue sauce and stuff to go in it, but we had all of that leftover pulled pork last week, so I'm going to be using some of that, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the ingredients, and then we will get to cooking, so first I'm going to melt this butter in my big pot, and then I'm going to cook up my onion and garlic. And then we've got some lima beans. I gotta pull out my can of diced tomatoes, almost forgot that, and my can of tomato sauce. We've got some barbecue sauce. This is a really thin one, which is what the recipe recommended, and I happen to have this one on hand. And then we're gonna need some chicken broth, so I'm gonna get some water, and I've got a chicken bouillon cube. This is my pork. Over here I have one chicken breast that's finishing up cooking. And salt, pepper, some hot sauce. And that's gonna pretty much be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Here is the finished Brunswick stew. Towards the end, I added a little bit of extra water and barbecue sauce because I think I added too much pork. The recipe said one pound, and I didn't know how much a pound was, so I just added in what was in that container, and then it was a little too thick, so I just thinned it out a little bit and added some extra barbecue sauce and water. So here are our plates. To go with it, I just made a box of Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. So those are over there. These are their plates. Here's mine and I'll get a biscuit to go with it. I already tasted it and it's pretty delicious. It's not my stepdad's, so it's not as good, but I still think it's pretty good. And it was a pretty quick and easy recipe. I think in total, like not including the time to cook the chicken because it calls for cooked chicken, it took like 25, 30 minutes. So that was pretty quick and easy. And that is going to be dinner for Friday. Hey guys, it's Saturday and tonight for dinner we are having hamburgers. So the kids just have regular buns and they're splitting a burger and they have some American cheese. Lily has some zucchini and some of these cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Elijah's gonna have some carrots I haven't gotten out of the fridge yet. And the same chips and his burger. And then I have zucchini and chips. And then my burger is actually on a two ingredient bagel. It actually has more ingredients. This one does. Um, I made these the other morning for breakfast to try and see if me and Andy liked them, and we did. They have like a sourdough vibe because it is just Greek yogurt and self-rising flour. So it's the like sourness from the Greek yogurt gets, gives it kind of a sourdough vibe. These ones, this one, this one, this one, this one, and the one that I'm eating have a little bit of cheddar cheese mixed in. That's why they're orange. And some garlic powder and onion powder. Um, and then these ones are just the plain and we'll have those for breakfast. So in the future I will share the recipe for these but I didn't today because I was trying something different with the cheddar and garlic powder and onion powder to see how it turns out. I haven't tasted it yet but I will leave a note on the screen if we liked it and then in a future video I will share it if we did like it. But that is going to be it for dinner tonight. 
Hey guys, it's Sunday and tonight for dinner we're going to be trying this 15 minute garlic butter chicken with Parmesan cauliflower rice. For the cauliflower rice I have this cauliflower that I found in the produce section at Kroger. It's called cauliflower pearls. And then I've got some garlic, some onion powder because I didn't want to do fresh onion. I've got the juice of one lemon and then it calls for some veggie broth. So I've got this um, concentrate and then a tablespoon because it calls for two tablespoons of broth. And then it also calls for some red pepper flakes. I might put that in just a little bit. And then for the chicken, two breasts cut in half horizontally. I didn't do a great job doing that today. This one's kind of small, but it'll do. So I did that. And then I've got some Parmesan cheese over here. And I'm, to it, I'm going to add some paprika, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then we are going to cook the chicken completely in some melted butter and olive oil. Then we'll remove that from the pan and do the rice in the same pan. Put the chicken back on top to heat it up and then dinner will be done. Okay, here is the finished dinner. I just made some green beans to go with it. We already know that I like cauliflower and we already know that Elijah likes cauliflower because he ate cauliflower at Ikea that was like just steamed cauliflower with salt and pepper on it. Um, and Lily has been asking to try cauliflower. So we will see how this goes. Andy has not been asking to try cauliflower, but he's gonna, he's gonna try it. So I will update you after we eat dinner and let you know how everybody liked it. But I liked that this was really quick to prepare. Um, I feel like it took me probably right at 30 minutes to get everything prepped and then cooked. So that's a win in my book. It's Monday and before we get into tonight's dinner, we wanted to give you an update on the rice to cauliflower from last night. What'd you think? Yummy. We do like cheese on it. When I put more Parmesan cheese on it, she ate it. At first she said she didn't like it. Then she ate some more when I put more Parmesan cheese on it. This guy, even though he likes cauliflower, didn't even want to eat it. He ate a couple bites, but didn't really like it. Lily said she didn't really like it, except for when I put the cheese on it. And I thought it was 
it was definitely better than Frozen. Um, Andy said it was okay. Like, he didn't, like, love it. Like, it's not, like, something he would want to eat all of the time in place of rice. But he ate it. He said it tasted good. It just... It wasn't as satisfying as rice, is what he said. So, that is what we think about the rice cauliflower. You might see it a little bit more in the future. Probably not very often. Hello, old doll. Okay, so tonight for dinner we are going to have some baked salmon. And we're also going to have some baked garlic parmesan roasted carrots. So I just took like eight carrots and cut them up into about equal sized pieces. And we are going to season them with some salt, pepper, garlic, basil and some parmesan cheese and then those are going to go in the oven i think for 20 minutes 20 minutes at 400 degrees and then when they come out let them cool for a few minutes and sprinkle some more cheese on top and then the salmon is also going to cook at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and i'm going to season some of it with this lemon pepper because andy really likes lemon pepper but in the past the kids have not liked lemon pepper so i'm going to season some of it with just the body a complete and i think we'll have a salad with it but we will see Here is the carrots out of the oven and the salmon. Here's everything plated up. I decided to make mac and cheese instead of doing salad, but we are having some tomatoes with it as well. Me and Lily are, and Andy will. Elijah is having cucumbers since he doesn't like tomatoes. So we've all got the salmon, mac and cheese, and the carrots, and I will be sure to let you guys know how we like the carrots. If you guys have been here for a while, you might remember when I made carrots to go with something Asian and I burnt them. So now every time I make carrots in the oven, the kids are like, remember that one time you burnt the carrots? <laughs> yeah, uh, but that is going to be dinner for Monday. It is Tuesday and tonight for dinner we are having pork chops, green beans, and applesauce. This literally took me 15 minutes to put together. So I just had some pork chops that I fried up in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. And then we used this garlic and herb seasoning that I got at Dollar Tree. And then I made a can of green beans. It's got butter, garlic powder, chicken bouillon in there, and then just some good old applesauce. And that's gonna be dinner for Tuesday. Bye. It is Wednesday and tonight for dinner I am making a Cajun chicken pasta. I've pretty much made this in the past, but usually when I make it, I use a jar of Alfredo sauce, and tonight I'm going to be making my own sauce. So I've got my chicken over here. This is two breasts that I've cut in half horizontally to make them thinner. I'm going to be seasoning them with this Cajun style seasoning that I picked up at Dollar Tree and then I will cook them till they're nice and brown and cooked all the way through in this pan that I have some olive oil and butter in and then back here I'm boiling some water for some noodles and once the chicken's done I will remove it make a roux with some butter and flour add some milk and then once that like thickens up and simmers I'll add a bunch of parmesan cheese and some pepper and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
Okay, here is the finished dinner. As you guys saw, I actually cut up the chicken. I don't usually do that, but this time I did cut it up and mix it in. And I didn't need to add any additional spices to the sauce because there were so many spices on the chicken already that like kind of dropped into the pan. So the sauce is already like seasoned enough. And to go with that, I, I roasted some broccoli in the air fryer on 380 for like 12 minutes with some olive oil and some body complete seasoning and then we have some grape tomatoes on the side as well. You could obviously do both of these vegetables in with the pasta but we like it on the side. And then Lily's looks the same and Elijah has cucumbers instead of tomatoes. And that is going to be dinner for Wednesday. It is Thursday and tonight's dinner isn't very interesting. It's just leftovers of the Cajun chicken pasta. Elijah, what did you think of the noodles last night? Good. Good, really, really yummy. Uh -huh. He absolutely loved the noodles. He was taking every bite and saying, these noodles are so good, right? So that is going to be our dinner for tonight. Just that, we might throw some fruit or vegetables or something like cucumbers or strawberries or blueberries on the table and that's going to be it. Yeah. And that is going to wrap up this week's What's for Dinner. If you like my What's for Dinners, please make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>